Oh, welcome to the Prodigies Workshop, a virtual creative space for young people to stay connected, be productive, learn from working professionals, and grow together. I am Luis Crespo. I am the Director of Youth Programming at Collaboration Theater, and I am also a company member there. Uh, I've been teaching in Chicago for about 15 years or so, working with youth from all around Chicago land. And I am very excited to share this space with you all. Uh, I'm here with my co-host, Lissandra Tena and Ethan Aikens. Hey, say hello, you two. How are you doing? Hello, uh, hello. I'm Lissandra Tena, and I have been collaborating with Collabor Action since 2012. Yay! And I'm also a working actor out here in LA, and we are here with our co-host, youth, Ethan Akins. Hello, hello again, Ethan. I'm Ethan Akins. I'm 17 years old. I go to Disney 2 Magnet High School, and I've been a collaboration youth ensemble member for about four years now, ever since I graduated the eighth grade, and it's been a pleasurable experience. Yeah, yes. Well, we are going to start our session off. This is our first session. Thanks again for being here with us. We're going to start with an original piece by Ethan called Productivity. Take it away, Ethan. So my piece is called Productivity, and let's just jump right into it. How do we stay productive in our own homes? Some of us find productivity in life outside of the house because on the outside, there is so much more to the world that can't be accessed in this one small space. However, this small space can hold so much more. That book on your shelf that you've been putting off can tell a story unlike any other. The guitar in the living room corner can open up your love and talent for music. The kitchen and its numerous spices can help you create an entirely new food. We can make this tiny cramped space of ours turn into a world of pure productivity. Thanks, Ethan. Um, we invite all of you out there to create alongside us during your shelter in place. As we move along, feel free to pause the video, give yourself time to rewrite or re-listen to something if you need to hear something repeated. Yes, uh, we are going to spend this time together to create and develop original content. We're going to play some games, do a couple activities, write and experiment with a few ideas to help get the creative energy flowing. So let's see where it takes us. Yeah, yeah. We'll have theme and theory guiding us throughout this creation process every week. But we, but we encourage you to take our suggestions and prompts as placeholders for when your inspiration kicks in and takes you in a different direction. Yeah, we want you to use this time to explore, to experiment. Hey, let's grow together as artists, as activists, and have fun along the way. We hope that you'll join us during our live sessions, which occur on Tuesdays at 4. And in that way, you can share your creations live with other young people and from other people around the internet. So if you're interested, register at collaboration.org. Yes, let's share our voices as we explore our passions, our fears, our dreams, concepts, ideas through art. Hi, what's up, what's up? So today we're gonna focus on using creative writing to generate material. Um, stream of consciousness to be exact. Uh, I've found that this has been a really great way to create original contact and connect the inner monologue of what's going on inside of you in the moment. Um, or about a subject or a given idea. Um, you can generate quite a bit of material using a single theme, concept, or word just by following the impulses that are inspired inside of you. But before we go into the nitty gritty of that, let's check in. Checking in is our way of connecting with each other. We do that by sharing something about ourselves and how we're feeling in the moment. So how we feel in recognizing something that brings us joy, for example. Uh, so I'll start. Uh, I feel really comfortable uh, because I've set up my home to be a peaceful place. Uh, and something that brings me joy is coffee. And I am grateful for my husband. He's a very, very kind person. I love him. So um, next is Luis. Luis, would you like to share? Well, I feel 
uh, overjoyed because I get to do this uh, work with uh, close friends and colleagues, and that's uh, a good thing. It's a good thing to be able to connect with, with people. Um, something that brings me joy is um, my niece's smile, my niece's laughter. Anytime they laugh or they smile, it brings me joy. Um, and something I am grateful for, I am grateful for the, um, the ability to, to connect with people. So, um, yeah. How about you, Ethan? How do you feel? Um, I feel pretty good right now because, uh, about an hour ago, I was just outside roaming about coming back with groceries with a dear family friend of mine. So being outdoors and getting in all that sunlight is really, a feels good beats being in the house all day something something that brings me joy is um uh, seeing my mother happy when she's happy I just get this warm feeling in my heart and I'm grateful for the friends that I have in my life they're a lively bunch and now everyone in the internet land just take a moment to check in with yourself and with anyone else in the room with you how do you feel right now and why Okay, so now we're going to warm up. Warming up is a good way to get our bodies and our minds ready to create. Make sure that you have room to move around. Uh, you can do this sitting down if you'd like, but if you're able to stand up, go ahead and do that. Alrighty, we're going to start by wiggling our fingers. We're going to warm up our fingers. So wiggle those fingers. It's almost as if you're creating a little, little flame with your fingers in front of the camera. We've got all these flames going on. Good, good, good. Now rotate your hands. Keep those fingers wiggling. Good, good. Excellent. Now get your elbows and your shoulders involved. Curve space. Oh, you can't help but get your head, your neck, and your torso involved. You do that and you get your hips going and flowing and moving. Get your knees and your legs and your feet going. Now you got your feet coming up off the ground. Are you, sh are you shaking those toes in your shoes? If you got slippers or if you're barefoot, get those toes shaking too. Now make this weird curving of space into a personal dance. What is your dance? This is my prodigy dance. Oh, 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 yeah. Bring it back to your curving of the space. Good, good, good. Slowly find a neutral place. Once you find that neutral space and place, recognize that breath that's going in and out naturally. Go ahead and close your eyes for a moment, if you'd like. Breathe in through your nose, release through your mouth. Continue to take deep breaths in and out, giving attention to that heartbeat if you can feel and hear it, breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth, giving focus to your breath and your heart. You can bring your hands up to your chest, deep breath in, release. Good. Go ahead, open your eyes. Excellent, excellent. Now go ahead and give that a little bit of a shake out. Shake that out, oh, that good energy. Excellent, excellent. So now we're gonna do a bit of a mirroring exercise. So whatever we do on screen, you guys are gonna do as well. Alrighty, so for example, if I were to slowly lift my hands up, Everyone else would do the same. Now I'm moving slow enough so you can keep up. And I will pass this eventually to Ethan. I mean to Lissandra. And then Lissandra will pass it to Ethan and see as we go through this activity if you could follow along with us as exactly as possible to the best of your ability 
And even though we may be separated, oddly enough, we are connected. I pass the mirror to Lissandra. I pass this to Ethan. I pass it back to Lewis. Thank you. <laughs> that was up. All righty. That is the end of the warm up. Okay. So now that we're warmed up, let's get into some specifics for today's lesson. Uh, so, stream of consciousness writing. Lissandra, mm, can you expand on this a little bit? Yes, absolutely. So uh, stream of consciousness writing uh, was made popular by authors like James Joyce and Virginia Woolf. It's a writing method to generate narrative that attempts to depict the thoughts and the feelings which pass through our mind. Um, so what does that mean? It means that we're going to focus on and is getting to a place where you just let the words flow without any judgment from your mind, your spirit, whatever from your heart, just let them flow without editing and judgment. So Ethan, do you have anything to add to that? Um, yes, we encourage you all to write in a journal, a Google Doc, the Notepad app, anything at all, all that we ask in return is that you just trust yourself and you just keep on writing or typing and just and if you get stuck, just keep that pen on your paper. And that's the cool thing about stream of consciousness writing. You're basically writing the first thing that pops into your head. Even if you continue to write the first thing that comes to my head, the first thing that comes to my head over and over and over again, just keep on doing that until, until it triggers another thought or an idea. Yeah, it can manifest as a list of ideas, words, thoughts, it doesn't matter. Don't worry about punctuation or spelling for the moment. You could always adjust that later. Just trust yourself in the moment and write unapologetically. What that means is you don't have to defend what you're writing or feel bad about what you're writing or censor what you want to try to say. Just let it flow. And from whatever you generate, it can then become a poem, a lyric for a great song, a monologue, a dialogue, a concept for a short story, a character, or play um, the possibilities are endless okay 
So today's activity is geared towards getting you to a place where you can organically let the words, the ideas and thoughts and the inspiration just flow. I'll be doing the activity with you guys and then I'll share what I wrote. Not that I think I'm perfect at it or that I think I'm all dead, but it's a way for some of you to get an idea of what can come out of a prompted free write. Ready? Ready. Ready. So make sure you are ready to write. Sit up straight. Place both feet on the floor. Place the palms of your hands on your knees and close your eyes. So you're sitting up straight. You got both feet on the floor. Both of your palms are on your knees. Your eyes are closed. You're breathing in and out. And try to direct the breath going in through your nose and out of your mouth. Deep breath in through your nose, out of your mouth. Keep breathing like this throughout the activity. The idea is to relax as much as possible. Breathe in. Breathe out. Now there's a word or an image or an idea that comes to mind right now. Focus on it. Of all the things that are rambling around in your brain, in your mind, in your spirit, focus on this one idea, this one word, this one image, all right? It may have to do with how you're feeling in the moment uh, about something you heard, something you saw on social media, something from a conversation you may have had with a family member, anything. Get that word, that idea. Now open your eyes and write it down. Write down this idea, this concept, this, this word that was that was radioactive and at the prime of your mind. This is gonna be the main theme that you're gonna be generating a narrative from. Try to collect as many words from this main word as you can. I'm gonna give you about a minute or so that you're gonna write down as many words that come to mind when you think about this main theme or this main word that you have created. Alrighty, don't overthink why you chose a word or if it's the right word, just start collecting and making a rich list of words, ideas, images, concepts, alrighty? The idea is to really write as many words that move, excite, and inspire you that you can. Ready? Now, feel free to pause the video if you need more time, alrighty? Give yourself as much time as you want. We'll be right here when you want to pause.
Time's up. Time's up. Time's up. Good. Now start a new document or page, but make sure that your list is easily accessible. This is going to be the list of words that you're going to pull from as you generate your free write. Now, um, close your eyes and think of this main word and the many words that you've collected thus far. Now ask yourself, your subconscious, to supply you with the title for your free write. Write that down. Once you've written that down, you're ready to free write using your words you've collected in the narrative. Now, for example, um, Ethan, what was your word and some of the inspired words that you got? And why don't you read us a little bit of a, a piece that you've created with this generated word and your list of words? Um, the, my, the first word that I came up with was time. And from that, I, I had first, second, third, dawn, night, and uh, renew. And here's the piece that I uh, managed to create with those words. Dawn of the first day. I've never felt so small and short than I do now. What was a quest for a lost friend became a dive into shadows and what lied beyond was a world unknown. Dawn of the second day. The boy behind my curse has yet to be seen. My constant attempts to search for him have failed. A young man who is capable of such powers not to be taken lightly. Dawn of the third day. My time is running short and soon the curse will remain. I found the boy on top of the clock tower and yet he, is do yet he has done something that I would have never dreamed of bringing down one, the moon, to destroy everyone. What was his end game? And I wouldn't know, but what I do know now is that it's all over. Dawn of the fourth day. And that's my piece. Nice. Right, great, 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 good stuff there, Ethan. Uh, tell us again, what were your, your, your main word was time, um, what were your first four words again that you wrote down that we heard in your piece? Um, first, second, third, dawn, night, and renew. All righty. Excellent. And you came up with that piece out of those words and that narrative. What's, what was the title of your piece? Um, the title? I believe it was... The cycle. Okay. So all of you guys out there who have your, uh, you have your main word, you have your inspired words, and you have your title. Now you're going to go ahead. We're going to give you three minutes to try to develop a creative writing and narrative using those elements that you've created. Remember, once the time is up, pause the video if you need more time. Um, and, and, and just unpause when you're ready to continue with the, the lesson. Alrighty. So ready, set and go. Okay. Time's up for now. Find a place to end your writing. Join us on our live Tuesday sessions and share what you've got. Yep. Um, Ethan, would you mind sharing what you wrote, please? Mm -hmm. uh, not at all. <clears throat> the bus was so crowded and tight, bodies clashing and struggling to keep their balance as the bus constantly starts and stops. To be in such an enclosed space with people you don't know can be rather annoying. The thought of wanting to leave becomes more prominent than the thought of thinking about what's most important family, friends, your work life, or your job, and all that can be so easily interrupted by a third party that you don't even know. And that's it. Nice. Thank you, Ethan. An activity for you guys. And what we're going to try to do next is called a writing rampage. 
And that's where we provide you with several writing activities or writing prompts one after another, but we give you a limited amount of time to write for each. Yes. And you can stick, you can either stick with the writing prompt suggested or jump to the next prompt as we move along. You can always go back and adjust, edit, refine anything you write later. For now, just see what flows from you and we'll hear your prompt soon. Have water ready when you need it so you can stay yes. hydrated. And we can't stress this enough. Again, don't overthink it. Just trust yourself and the direction that your writing goes. The writing prompt is just a suggestion to spark your inspiration. You never know what you may discover when you meet the challenge. Yeah, well said, my good man. All righty, everyone ready? Yes. Ready. All right. Okay. When I say switch, switch to the next prompt. Uh, put a space in between each one so each is a separate piece. All right? Ready? The first prompt is, if my walls could talk, they would say. If my walls could talk, they'd say. Go ahead and finish that prompt. If my walls can talk, they'd say. Trust in what you're writing. Don't judge or censor yourself. See what's the first things that are coming from you impulsively. Good, keep going. Now remember, you could always go back to these writing prompts at the end of the day, at the end of the exercise. You're going to switch, find a space, separate your writings. The next prompt is, beauty is, beauty is, finish that thought, what is beauty? If you're really compelled to stick with the prompt before this one, if walls can talk, they'd say, continue on with that. You wanna, you wanna go with what your flow is telling you. But for right now, if you're able to switch to our next prompt, it is beauty is. Beauty is. If you get stuck, challenge yourself to move past it, knowing you have the opportunity to come back and rewrite and readjust. Good. Okay, we're going to switch to our next prompt. The next prompt is the song of my heart sounds like, the song of my heart sounds like, finish that prompt. The heart of my heart sounds like, Remember, don't judge yourself, trust. Everything you're writing is on its way to greatness. If you get stuck, you can always write the last word over and over and over until you get triggered to another word. Trust yourself. The heart of my heart. The song of my heart sounds like. Good. Okay, we're gonna jump to a new prompt. If you're really, really 
uh, finding a good fire with the prompt that you're working on now, stick with it. Otherwise, let's jump to our next prompt, which is courage looks like, courage looks like, and again, you don't have to force anything. Just let the words flow out of your mind. Stream of consciousness. First things that come to mind, let it come out from your heart, from your soul, onto the pen, through your fingers, onto the keyboard, onto the paper, wherever that you're writing. Courage looks like. For example, courage looks like that overflowing well that I can never get enough of. It looks like that fairyland place where I can jump and scream and say what I like. See what comes out. It doesn't have to make sense. It doesn't have to make sense to anyone else. And we could always reflect back and say, what is it that I'm trying to say with this writing? What is it that I'm trying to say to myself? Good, good, good. We're going to jump to our next prompt. Chicago makes me feel. Chicago makes me feel. Finish that prompt. If you're following along with us with the prompts, you can always pause. And when you're ready to move on to the next prompt, you can just unpause. So that way you can write to your heart's content for as long as you want. But know that you got another writing prompt ready to trigger you to another place if you really just want to explore content and really enjoy the activity and the exercise of writing. Very good. Very good. We're going to change to our next prompt. To be me means, to be me means, finish that thought. What does it mean to be you? as a person who deals with different aspects of your life whether that's social whether that's at school whether that's at home what does it mean to be you it may not have anything to do with any of that it may have to do with rocks and flowers and sunshine what does it mean to be you To be me means, excellent. We got two more prompts. We're gonna move on to our next prompt, which is I cope by, I cope by, finish that thought. give you a, just a short amount of time for that one. We're going to jump to our next prompt, which is what comes to mind is what comes to mind is and this is where you're going to try to write as fast and furious as you can. Once that pen hits the paper, it does not stop. Once those fingers hit the keyboard, the clicking doesn't stop. Write as fast as you can, as much as you can. What comes to mind is what? Pop, 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 pop. What is it? If you're working on a different pr prompt, same idea applies. Write as much as you can in these last 20 seconds. In these last 15 seconds, you have 15 seconds left. Write as much as you can. Good. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and find 
the final lies in place. Find a place where you can end, all right? You don't have to finish your writing, but just find a place to stop. Okay, great. For now, find a place to end your writing. If the inspiration has gotten you and you cannot stop, pause and keep going and unpause us when you're ready. So please send us what you have later. Luis? Yeah, yeah. Um, Ethan, you mind sharing? Uh, not at all. Just let me put it up here. And here we go. <clears throat> the song of my heart sounds more like a Spotify playlist with a shuffle button on. It can be as slow and smooth as Stand By Me or as fast as Eminem's Rap God. <laughs> and that's what I had for that so far. Nice. All right. Very cool. Very cool. So, um, Ethan, um, we have a question for you. What is something that you've learned about yourself during the pandemic? Something that I've learned about myself. Hmm. Mm. Good well, question. And I suppose something that, that I've learned about myself is that I'm, uh, I can be a very, uh, like, my interest in reading is something that I've never really uh, acknowledged before the quarantine started, but then I started reading The Great Gatsby and uh, this graphic novel that's in the other room. And I have to say that when I just dedicate myself to reading, it can be very fulfilling and I just feel like a more accomplished, accomplished person for reading. All right. What's up, what's up? Okay. Um, those of you guys out there, we invite you to reflect on that question as, as well. Um, what is something that you learned about yourself during this pandemic? Um, Lissandra, would you like to share? About something that I've learned during this pandemic? Yeah, something that you've learned about yourself during the pandemic. I really enjoy being home. I really, I think it's very, it's a very peaceful place for me. So that's something that I've learned that I, I actually am fine being home and gardening and cooking and just being here. And I agree, reading, I've been reading a lot more and I've really been enjoying that. So yeah, that's what I've learned about myself. What's up? That's a good thing to learn. What's up? Um, yeah, I think something that I've learned during the pandemic is just being at, at peace with being alone. You know, being being with mm -hmm. yourself and actually taking the time to reflect on what's going on in here and in here. Um, sweet, sweet, sweet. Um, let's check out, shall we? It's been fun spending this time with you all, and we hope you found some of this helpful. We hope you check into the next episode. Um, Lissandra, you want to check us out? Yep. Wonderful. So now we're going to check out, and we're going to share how we feel and something that you love about the world. So I will begin. I am feeling really satisfied because I got to uh, share this space with you today. And something that I love about the world is its generosity. Luis? Well, I am feeling happy because even though there's a lot of weirdness going on with the pandemic and us having to do things like this, um, we're still able to connect. So I am feeling good. I'm feeling happy and great that uh, I am able to connect with all of you out there. Um, something I love about the world is coffee. I love cafe con leche. I like about this much coffee this much milk and about this much sugar. So we put that together and you got a really good cup of coffee. And that is something I love about the world, coffee. Ethan, what's up? What, uh, how are you feeling and what you love about the world? No, I'm feeling pretty good right now because I always love sharing my writing with others. And something I love about the world is animals. I, I love my pet doggo. I miss the three cats that I had and uh, if I could, I would get a snake at, for a pet. Okay, what's nice. up, what's up? <laughs> well, um, that was fun. Uh, but that is about it for our first session here. Now, continue what you began with us. Keep developing it. Keep letting it grow. Let it change. Let it evolve. Let it transform. Surprise yourself. 
Trust what you got is not only great, but it's on its way to greatness. Um, and join us for our live Zoom on Tuesdays at 4 o'clock. And that way you can share some of your stuff live. You can workshop with other people who are like-minded in the way you'd like to work. And um, create even more with us. Uh, so hopefully we'll see you at our next Prodigies workshop or just visit us here at our next episode. But either way, keep working on your art. Yes, and send any drafts or, un or finished pieces to the email on your screen or go to the submission portal at, on collaboration.org. Your work could be featured on the next Future Prodigy workshop or included in one of our upcoming festivals. Yes, so be sure to register for upcoming workshops at collaboration.org. And invite your friends to our next workshop. Yes, please, please, please bring them along and sign up for our summer job program at afterschoolmatters.org. Search for Program Collaboration Team Theater Ensemble. If you want to join us for our summer paid apprenticeship, that means you get to work with other like-minded youth and get paid for being creative and being wonderful. So that's about it for us right now, but we look forward to seeing you next week, next section, next time. Adios. We'll see you later. Bye. But that's about it.